Come on in, y'all. I'm coming in as well. Let's do this today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? Me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all, we got a brand new movie. Breakfast for dinner. We have some pancakes, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all how long it's been since I cooked a pancake. And we have sausage as well. Y'all see it? And some eggs. So this is November. No, it ain't. Oops. I went back. <clears throat> it's December. <laughs> a whole new month, y'all. This is scene one. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Come on in here, y'all. I was ready for this food. Uh, I was craving pancakes. I think I told y'all that like last week. Well, uh, I didn't go out to get no pancakes because I don't really eat out too much, you know. So I said, you know, I'm going to buy me a box of pancake mix and what? Ain't your mama served. So y'all, let's say prayers. I want, my, I want my stuff to stay hot. Thank you, Father God, for this another day. Thank you for divine favor, mercy, and grace. My God, you are so awesome. Thank you for being God all by yourself. My God, thank you. Oh, Lord. I mean, 10,000 tongues, really. I cannot thank you enough. Mm, my Jesus, have your way in every one of our lives, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all, let me do this uh, comment. Cheers for hump day. Mm -hmm. Y'all not y'all gonna see this on tomorrow though, Thursday. <laughs> so I love y'all. So salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Mm -hmm, y'all. I'm ready for this food. Without a do, my butter is melted on that pancake. I haven't had. Well, my, my my girl, Dion, said I had pancakes when I lived in, in uh, Frisco. I asked, I said, Dion, did I have some pancakes in Frisco? She said, I did. But the last time I cooked pancakes, it was way before I was 38. <laughs> yeah. So that's a long time. Y'all, I hope I like it because I'll do it again. Oh, here. Y'all want some? Take it. We got them pancakes, we got some fried sausages, and we have some fried eggs. So, yum, yum, give me some. We all should have charged my camera. And I looked at it, it had three dots. Oops. Hope it don't shut off. I'm ready to eat, y'all. Look, it's still smoking hot, so y'all know I love my hot food. So, how are y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all already know. Here you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Y'all already know that we are coming into another season of whew, a holiday. Yeah. I, I'm really, mm -mm. Mm. damn, it's good. I really uh thinking I'm going to go out of town. I really, I really am. I'm on, yeah, I'm going to put that in the universe, y'all. Wait a minute. They're a little thin. Maybe I got to get my batter thicker. I don't know. I haven't done it in so long. But it sure is good. And those ends are crunchy, just like I like. So, y'all, um, I'm thinking about that, yeah. There's so much going on, you know. Businesses are closing. Big businesses are selling. Huh. People are dying. Killing each other. I'm like eating good. This is the time to pray without ceasing. It really is.
But you know, we're in the end days. If y'all don't know it, open up that book. Go to Revelations. Mm-hmm. Now I don't realize what we're going through is written. It really is written in the book. It is. Y'all, these pancakes good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have me eating sausage. I want to tell y'all something. Y'all know I don't like that skin. Y'all, I believe. Mm, damn, that's good. This garlic sausage, y'all. It's good. I don't know, that skin kind of crunchy, y'all. Y'all remember back in the day? In the Bible days? Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't eat this now. I tried. Because it's kind of crunchy. Uh, when we were clans meaning all our families was on the same property mm-hmm helping each other because my understanding of the bible says that the end days will be like the noah days and if you don't know noah's story it's in the book mm -hmm. go read it mm-hmm I believe this is the days that we have to come together. I said that mm -hmm. so many times. It's the day. But I'll say this again. And it's sad to say, but it's true. There are so many cultures that can live in the same house to help each other. But not us. Because they taught us many years ago and then families taught their children how to hate each other, be envy of each other, to be jealous of each other. We can't even have a business together because you better believe that somebody in that business is going to think somebody's stealing some money. Can't live in the same house together. Because some man or some woman is going to be thinking that you're trying to screw their husband and wife. And, and people will do it. <laughs> but how do we come together if we don't lose that mentality? We got to change our thought process. We really do. I believe if we learn how to love, because you know that's the greatest command. I believe once we learn how to love unconditional, that's when everything is going to come. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. I wish y'all can have some. This is good. It's different. I'm not going to go to a restaurant to get it. Now, y'all. Y'all know I have been eating them Cornish hens from Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm done now. Why I was thinking about chicken wings today. <laughs> Am I not done with chicken I don't know one thing. I'm gonna make some shrimp. I haven't had shrimp in like two months, have I? I'm gonna get me some shrimp. I think I'm gonna do some shrimp pasta this weekend. 
garlic pasta too. With that melted uh, roasted garlic that I do and all the seasons in there and let it melt down and pour it over that uh, shrimp and pasta. Mm-hmm. Ooh. thing about pancakes. It's like bread. You get to get your full. Because y'all know I'm not that big bread eater, y'all. Mm-hmm. This is damn good, though. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. I'll do this again. For sure. Y'all, I'm eating all my food, and we still got, like, a... Seven whole minutes. Who would have thought? Maybe my pancakes were thicker. Mm-hmm. These eggs are good, too. How y'all like y'all eggs? Poached, fried, or scrambled softly, or scrambled hard? I like mine fried mostly. Even though I eat two boiled eggs in the morning. But for this kind of meal, I want them fried. If I have some grits, I want them scrambled with just a little of the yolk still there so it can uh, roll over into my grits, that is. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this uh, butter is good, even though they say it's not no butter in it. You got other natural flavors. But when I think about... Um, Butter back in the day was in that yellow and brown can. Mm hmm. And peanut butter. I ate a lot of toasted bread with peanut butter and syrup mixed together. Maybe that's why I don't like peanut butter now. I ate a lot. They were good though. Mm hmm. With a bag of chips on the side. Mm hmm. Because y'all remember back in the day, they say peanut butter takes the place of meat. <laughs> As you know, back in the 60s and the 50s and stuff, black people didn't have a lot of meat. And the meat we had was pork. And we wonder why we got high blood, blood pressure now. Because mm -hmm. over the years, that fat clogs your heart. From that pork. Miss Piggy. I don't know where that uh, went. Did it fall on the floor? I had another napkin, y'all. Oh, yeah. Fell on the floor. So. Ooh. I'm going to finish these with thin pancakes. I only got a little piece left. As y'all can see, next time I'm going to make my, my uh, batter a little thicker, y'all. But I hadn't made them in over 20, what, 27 years? That's a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. hmm Y'all ain't never seen me clean my plate, huh? <laughs> y'all know that this is something I've really been wanting, you know? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. First time. I saw Be Love today do Mexican pizza. After she got through doing it, you know what it looked like to me? It didn't look like Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. It looked like a double layer of a tostado. That was not at all a pizza. But it did look good, though. And she was finished. It was that. When I say stacked, it was stacked. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is some good. Yeah. 
most people would say, now why are you going to leave that one piece of sausage? Really? Because I don't want it. I'm done. Mm. I can eat it with my boiled egg in the morning. Mm -hmm. Give me a little change up, right? That was bomb. Bomb. I gotta do it again. Mm hmm I think I wanna put my pancake like this thick. Maybe I, when I do it that thick, I'm only gonna eat one. Who y'all? That was delicious. Let me take a moment to say thank you for all my subscribers. Excuse me out. New and older. When I read your comments, I love it. Some of you really do comment and I love it. So thank you for sticking and staying. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for sticking and staying. Thank you. My year is going to be on um, December the 23rd. I have not hit my numbers, and I'm okay with that. Um, one thing I do know is I don't know what YouTube will do at, at, at my uh, year mark because I don't have the numbers. I'm thinking that... If they take some of my subscribers or some of my watch time hours or, you know, that's a possibility that I may not continue with that hood girl to the hoods YouTube page. But I still love YouTube and I will still support the people that I love, you know. So that's where I'm standing. However, I, I did a look over over my videos and where all my eyes came from. I'm almost at 2,500 of the 4,000 uh, as well. However, that's still not enough. But I realized that my cigar videos, they have so many eyes. So I might just have to change some things, you know. Uh, especially cigars because it really does give me beautiful eyes a lot of them you know in one day I may have 400 views for one seven minutes of cigar smoking you know so I'll keep y'all updated as time goes but look at y'all we out of time so y'all ready to sing yourself out I enjoyed y'all I hope you enjoyed me too Let's do what we do, baby. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. Whatever you do on the rest of the someday, baby, do it good. Do it with purpose. And of course, y'all already know, please do it with genuine love. I love you guys. There's nothing you can do about it.